The foreign ministers of the U.S. and China held a press conference following their meeting on Wednesday morning, while Washington pressed on Beijing to cooperate in making progress in dealing with Pyongyang's nuclear program. China remains firm in stressing dialogue on the matter. Our Connie Kim has more. China is standing firm on its original stance on North Korea's nuclear program, that denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula should be resolved through dialogue. The comments came from Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi at a press conference with his U.S. counterpart John Kerry following a meeting on Wednesday. Wang also said that sanctions should not be the purpose in dealing with North Korea's nuclear ambitions. Kerry is in Beijing for a two-day visit to discuss the U.S.-led U.N. Security Council resolution that's being drafted against Pyongyang. Washington is pushing for bans on North Korean oil exports, mineral imports and a tightening of financial sanctions on North Korea. It's also seeking limits on trade between Beijing and Pyongyang. China, a veto-wielding permanent member of the U.N. Security Council, has long been against heavy sanctions on its longtime ally. Earlier in the day, Kerry had pressed China to work with the U.S. on contentious issues. Clearly, we have uh, uh, several important issues we need to find a way to move forward on. <clears throat> One is the issue of the nuclear program of the DPRK, North Korea, a major challenge to global security, one of the most important issues of security to the United States of America. Another key issue for Kerry is a rise in tensions over the South China Sea. China claims sovereignty over almost all the disputed waters, which are also claimed by Southeast Asian nations and potentially loaded with oil and gas. Kerry was expected to press Beijing to stop constructing artificial islands and airstrips in the disputed waters. Connie Kim, Arirang News.